Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to configure VLANs and VLAN routing on the Cisco Nexus which is for the DR site. So here we get to our config lines and the, um, the ones I'm going to be using uh, right here. So uh, VLAN 19 is our is our DR VLAN, and this is basically it's going to be IP. It's going to have interfaces and everything, but I'm going to shut them down because obviously we can't have the same network at two places without some type of SDUN solution involved. So um, this will be these will be shut down after we create them, and then a non-routable network for iSCSI and NFS uh, from from our storage system. Uh, replication for snap mirror traffic between sites and the uh, infrastructure as a service servers that will be on the DR side so we're gonna have a load balancer and do like uh, our exchange DAG is gonna span the, the the gap between both sites so it's gonna be active at both sites uh, SQL uh, availability group is gonna be the same uh, and some other things will be over there and here, like domain controller, stuff like that. Uh, and uh, then a network for some other stuff I have. And then an internet network, we're going to have a, an internet VLAN because uh, there's there's four ports on the modem. But I use uh, software-based firewalls, right, like Untangle. So I've got two ports on each server, on each hypervisor, that are dedicated for... Um, internet access and then if there's anything else that might need access um, that the, the, we wouldn't have any ports so I have effects that's going to be another video that I install and configure because I don't get it until Thursday but um, we're gonna take a, a 48 1 gig port effects and add that to these switches and then we'll we'll look at that type of stuff in that video but um, then I've got a couple of other uh, networks here for for stuff and things, right? Um, now, to do this, we have to create the VLANs, and then we have to create IP interfaces for those VLANs, and then uh, we're going to use uh, HSRP to create a virtual interface that will bounce between switches based on priority and availability of a switch right so if the if the interface is sitting on n5ka because it n5k has a higher priority than b um, and then the the a side switch fails that virtual inter interface will move over to the b node and continue routing your traffic so you shouldn't have any any real any significant disruption to your network uh, if if one side of your if one side of your nexus goes down all right so here we'll start with we'll start with VLAN 19 so just VLAN 19 give it a name this name can't have spaces in it all right and then we want to, uh, to interface VLAN 19, and we can't because we don't have the feature enabled. I've said before, I'm no, I'm no Cisco guy. I just know what I know to get done, what I need to get done, uh, right here. So, feature interface VLAN. Boom. All right. So now interface VLAN 19 up oh, here we go all right so uh, now we'll do um, this is just like a, any other interface we'll do a um, we'll do a description we call this one uh, Call this one Mebin DR. Uh, 
and uh, IP address of two dot two. So the schema I'm going to use here is switch A is a dot two, switch B is dot three, and the virtual interface is dot one. this interface shut down uh, all right of course Here you go with your, you know, you need for to do HSRP, you need that land based services package, which is free. This Cisco, if you don't have this, but you have a Cisco account, you can go on Cisco's website, you can put in the serial numbers of your switches, and you can get this license free of charge. So we've already we've IP in the HSRP version two. Um, all right, so now HSRP. So you have to give your HSRP an ID. I keep the IDs the same as the interface. So um, this is going to be um, HSRP uh, 19, and then. Uh, Just security stuff. Okay. So now you can see what we've done here is we've we've we created the VLAN. We created a VLAN interface. We IP'd that interface as dot two. Then we enabled HSRP and we created an HSRP instance on this interface, secured it with an authentication string, and gave gave that virtual instance the IP of one seven two nineteen one one. So and a priority of one fifteen. So in Nexus, the, the priority for HSRP, the higher the number, the higher number instance is going to get the virtual interface if it's if it's available. All right. So to do the same things over here, we had feature Interface VLAN, feature HSRP, let's knock those out right at the beginning. So then we've got uh, VLAN 19, name, all right, so now we do interface VLAN 19. Description. And uh, we're going we're gonna to say shut down on this. P address. All right. So we did two over there and then three here. So we've done our IP address. And two HSRP 
19. Priorities 110, it'll be lower, the lower priority, so it won't, uh, all of, I'm going to keep all my interfaces on the A side when it's, when it's up. Um, and then IP. And there we go. So now if we look at uh, the interfaces we have available, we have a VLAN 19 interface and it is down because we don't want it running when our main site is up. So now we'll do the next interface, VLAN 190. This one, let's do this active. And since we are not routing this, in, we are, we're not routing any traffic off of this network, um, that's it. So I'll save you guys going through the process of all of these because you, you don't need to watch this 50 times. You've seen it. You've seen it with with uh, HSRP for routing and without. So you should be good there. So we want to create a uh, we'll create default routes and stuff later. When I get to when I actually put these things in, uh, when I put these things in the in the data center, but I think that's I think that's good enough for this video. Um, if you have any questions on that process, um, you know, feel free to post them. But um, that's that's very simple. And like I said, I you know I I try to keep this stuff just to what I need to to deploy these things because there's there's so much information out there and it's it's kind of hard to to digest if you're just looking for this one little piece right so um that's kind of why i'm making these videos so you can kind of just you know if if you're if you're in a position like me where you just you, you need to get routing up you need to get vlans up you don't want to you don't want to go you know ten thousand feet deep in this hole to figure this stuff out um these uh these videos should should be what you need. In the next video, I'm going to uh, I'm going to hook up uh, the storage system and the VMware hypervisors, and I will VPC those connections and trunk ports and sh show you the show you all that kind of kind of good stuff. Uh, so I guess until then, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.